G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in today's video, we're just going to be doing a quick battery performance and overheating comparison of the new Hero 13 Black against the DJI Action 5 Pro. I have a full comparison going over different features, video samples, low light performance coming up probably next week sometime. But I wanted to focus this video strictly on the battery performance of each camera, record time, and overheating. Both GoPro and DJI have released an action camera in the past week and both have introduced a new high performance battery. The new DJI battery is a 1950 milliamp hour battery. And the nice thing is this is completely backward compatible with their older cameras. So you can use this new higher capacity battery in the Action 4 and in the Action 3. You just have to make sure you update the firmware on both cameras. And vice versa, you can use their batteries, the batteries from the Action 3, Action 4, in the new Action 5 Pro. So really nice that DJI made their new high performance battery backward compatible. GoPro also introduced a new battery. This is a 1900 milliamp hour battery, but unfortunately for it, it is not backward compatible. It only works with the Hero 13 Black. You cannot use this in their older cameras and you cannot use the batteries from the older cameras in the new model. That is definitely very unfortunate. So I've done a lot of testing with both cameras, both when it comes to overheating, recording time, and charging both batteries. So for these battery tests, I decided to record at 4K just to keep it fair. I also disabled the GPS on the GoPro just again to keep things fair. Now on my first test, I was recording at 4K 30 on both cameras. On the DJI Action 5 Pro, I was able to record for 2 hours and 43 minutes. On the GoPro Hero 13 Black, I was able to record for 1 hour and 43 minutes. Neither camera overheated during this test, they both shut down due to the battery being depleted. So with the DJI Action 5 Pro, I was able to record for one hour longer. In another test, I recorded at 4K60 to see about overheating and recording time. With my DJI Action 5 Pro, I was able to record for two hours and five minutes, and then the recording shut off due to the battery being depleted. So at 4K60 with a full battery, you can record for over two hours. The Action 5 Pro did not overheat. With the GoPro Hero 13 Black at 4K60, the camera overheated at 51 minutes. So now moving on to 4K 120 frames per second, recording at that high frame rate can create a lot of heat. With the DJI recording at 4K 120 frames per second, I was able to record for one hour and six minutes and then it overheated. With the GoPro Hero 13 Black recording at 4K 120 frames per second, I was able to record for 30 minutes and then the camera shut down because of overheating. So the GoPro can still suffer from overheating. Now, just to be very clear, these overheating tests were done at a desk. The results are gonna be quite a bit different if you're outside doing activities and there's a lot of air movement around the camera. There's a good chance that it will not overheat at all. On the other hand, if it's an extremely hot day, you're in the direct sunlight and there's very little movement, perhaps you're filming a car show or a trade show, then of course that overheating can come into play. So with that battery performance and overheating test, you can see we can get quite a bit more recording time with our DJI camera. In some scenarios, you can almost get double the amount of recording time with the Action 5 Pro. And overheating with the Osmo Action 5 Pro at 4K 30 and 4K 60 is not an issue at all. With the GoPro Hero 13 Black, it did not overheat at 4K 30, but indeed it did overheat at 4K 60 after 51 minutes. So now let's talk about charging performance because both batteries are quite different when it comes to charging. The new battery for the Action 5 Pro still supports quick charging. In my testing with the DJI battery, I had it up to 40% from zero in 10 minutes. It was up to 80% in 24 minutes. The last little bit of a battery always takes longer to help preserve the life of the battery. So to get to 100%, it took 57 minutes. Whereas with the GoPro battery, I checked at 24 minutes where we had the action one up to 80%. After that same time frame, the GoPro was only at 32%. So 32% at 24 minutes and DJI was at 80% at 24 minutes. To get the GoPro battery fully charged to 100%, it took an hour and 52 minutes. So not only can you get almost double the recording time out of your Action 5 Pro in some scenarios, the charging time is less than half as well. So you can get back up and running with your depleted batteries much quicker. So yeah, folks, just a quick comparison video of battery performance and overheating, because if you are gonna be in the market for an action camera this fall, you're trying to get as much data and information available to you as possible. Just some more information to add to your research. As mentioned, I have a full comparison when it comes to features and performance. Both cameras do an excellent job capturing video, some really nice quality stuff, but they have different features that might be more important to some users. 
Each one has its pros and cons when it comes to different aspects. So if you are in the market for an action camera this fall, make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope to have that uploaded next week sometime. Well, folks, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.